Hey there, I'm Apple Kreider with Investing Simple. In this video, we're taking an in-depth look at the question of is Webull safe and legitimate? Now with the rise of all these different investing apps, there's a lot of people out there that are wondering how safe are these things, okay? Because you gotta remember, five, 10 years ago, most of these apps did not even exist. They had not even been thought of yet. So you have to be very careful when you're putting potentially a lot of your money on the line with something that is not very time tested. On top of that, recently there've been so many news stories that kind of make people question how safe these apps actually are. And especially since these guys charge no commissions, they're branded as free platforms. A lot of people are wondering like, are these guys actually making money? Are they gonna be around for five, 10 years? And what's kind of the story? So let's dive into whether Webull is actually a safe place for you to invest and if this app is actually legit. Now, when it comes to the question of is Webull safe? Now, they're taking a lot of precautions to make sure that your funds are actually safe within their app. However, they are not able to protect you from you making a bad investment. So if you invest into something on Webull and it goes down in value 50%, 100%, the company goes bankrupt, there's nothing they can do for you, okay? If you make a bad investment, there's nothing that Webull can do for you. There's nothing that any of these platforms out there can do for you. So you have to understand that all investments do involve risk and they cannot protect you from the risk of yourself. However, there are some other risks that these platforms can actually protect you from. And the first of which is through something that is called SIPC insurance. Now you've probably heard of FDIC insurance before, and that is for banks, but SIPC insurance is kind of a similar type of insurance, but it is for investing accounts like your Webull account. Now, this insurance basically protects you from the risk of loss or theft of your securities. I like to think of it as a Bernie Madoff protection or kind of protecting you from Ponzi schemes, okay? Because if Webull was running a Ponzi scheme, this SIPC insurance would protect you, the investor, and say, hey, this app was doing fraudulent activity. We're gonna step in and make sure you get paid for your investments because they were stolen from you. Now, this insurance covers up to $500,000 in securities, up to $250,000 of which can be cash. So if you lose out on that much, money, it's going to be covered by SIPC insurance. Now, if you have over that much money in your Webull account, it might make sense to spread that across different investment accounts because that $500,000 limit applies to each investment account you have with each different broker. So if you had a Webull account, a public account, a Robinhood account, all of those would have that $500,000 limit. Now, on top of that SIPC insurance, Webull's clearinghouse, Apex Clearing, which is where your securities are actually held, they have another insurance policy that stacks on top of that that goes up to $150 million in cumulative value. So it covers up to $37.5 million per person of securities, up to $900,000 of which can be cash. So this is a bit of a bigger umbrella that covers a lot more if something were to happen higher up on the food chain to Apex Clearing. So that's SIPC insurance, but there's also another layer of security on your Webull account known as FINRA. So Webull is regulated both by FINRA and by the SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission. These guys ensure that Webull is operating ethically and is properly registered. They also make sure that they're complying with the rules and that there is full transparency with all of the investors on the platform. They don't want Webull hiding anything from the Webull investors. So they're making sure that there's that transparency between both parties. Now, all of that applies to your stocks, to your ETFs, et cetera, but what about your crypto, okay? Because on Webull, you can actually hold cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. How are those covered? How are those protected? Well, in short, they are not, okay? There's no FDIC insurance on cryptocurrency. There's no SIPC insurance on cryptocurrency. Over time, we might see some kind of regulatory body step in and put together some kind of insurance that is standardized across different crypto accounts. But for now, we don't actually have that because crypto is still so new in the grand scheme of things in terms of actually being regulated. Now, to wrap this all together, what you're kind of looking at here, under most circumstances, if something does happen to Webull, you are not going to be personally financially affected. That's because you are the one that owns your stocks, not Webull. Webull does not own your stocks. You are the complete owner of your investments. And unless they are actually breaking the law, you're gonna receive all of your investments. If they are in fact breaking the law, then that's where SIPC insurance is gonna step in and make sure that you get your money back up to that $500,000 threshold. And then beyond that, like I said, the Apex Clearing Insurance is gonna cover up to potentially $37.5 million per person. Now your cryptocurrencies are not going to have those same protections. So you want to make sure that you are keeping that in mind when you're investing in crypto on the Webull platform. And in most cases, we recommend not actually using Webull to invest in crypto just because you can't transfer your crypto to an external hardware wallet. That's generally the safest way to keep your crypto. And so down in the description below, we have a couple of platforms that will allow you to transfer your crypto to an external wallet and be a little bit safer there. So you can check those out if you're at all interested. 
So overall, the answer to the question of is Webull safe and legitimate is a pretty solid yes. They have some very stable security measures in place to make sure that you as the investor are protected when you're investing money through the Webull platform. Additionally, the SEC has got some pretty strict regulations on Webull and other financial apps to make sure that they're operating above the board and not doing anything too sketchy. Now, if you want to learn more about how Webull actually works, we have a full comprehensive article on our website, investingsimple.com. The best way to find that is to head on over to Google, type in how does Webull work, and then click on the link for investingsimple.com. We'll see you over there.